Hmm, I kind of wonder if letting my 10-year-old twin nephews play Persona 5 and Yakuza Kiwami was a good idea, even though my brother lets them play Call of Duty. Hmm. Hi guys, it's the Talk with Inso, and today I'm here with some new growth, or at least a little bit. You know I always get the new growth pretty quick. But uh, anyway, that's actually not what I'm here to talk about. What I'm here to talk about is Funimation, but not just Funimation, folks. I'm here to talk about Funimation, Right Stuff, and Nozomi Entertainment announcing a partnership for anime streaming, which sounds really interesting, and uh, I hope this actually lasts a significant amount of time because I do remember they fell out with Crunchyroll, so that was a thing. But anyway, let's just hop right into this nice little article here. So Funimation announced at its Anime Expo panel on Thursday that it is partnered with Right Stuff in Nozomi Entertainment. <laughs> Funimation will begin streaming the following titles on its Funimation Now service. Funimation did not announce the debut dates for the titles Revolutionary Girl Utena, Gravitation, Boogie Pop Phantom, Junjo Romantica, Yakitate Japan, and Sweet Blue Flowers. <laughs> Nozomi Entertainment released the Revolutionary Girl Utena series on Blu-ray disc from 2017 to 2018. Nozomi Entertainment's YouTube channel is streaming the series in Japanese with English subtitles as well as the English dub. So go figure, we're going back old school, <laughs> you know. Those days when we used to watch anime on YouTube when it wasn't supposed to be there, now you can go back and do that legit. <laughs> Doesn't that sound very fascinating? <laughs> okay, but yeah, continuing on. Nozomi Entertainment will release Gravitation, the Gravitation Blu-ray collection on September 3rd. Right Stuff previously released Gravitation on DVD back in 2004, and then again, in a set in 2006 and again in 2010, which, funny enough, I was on Right Stuff recently, actually, and I saw Gravitation just kind of floating around, and I was like, wow. I remember when, like, somebody from my old anime club was talking about how they had to hunt down DVD singles, because we all remember those days of having to hunt down those DVD singles. <laughs> Not very fun. <laughs> we're hunting them down like we're going to war, folks. <laughs> but anyway, Right Stuff previously released Boogie Pop Phantom on VHS and DVD from 2001 to 2002, and then re-released it in 2003, 2006, 2009, and in 2012. Very fascinating how they're going in three-year increments up in there. Huh. Don't even know what to say about that. Although now I kind of wonder if they're actually going to pick up the new Boogie Pop Phantom that I guess it was like remade or something because I did see that series floating around. So they're probably going to pick that one up too and you know you got to see it on Right Stuff soon enough. <laughs> but anyway, Right Stuff previously released Junjo Romantica on Blu-ray disc in 2017. Not much to say about old Junjo, <laughs> but anyway. Right Stuff released Yakitate Japan on DVD in 2015, and Crunchyroll is streaming the series, so you can go check that out if you want to. Definitely go for it. <laughs> Nozomi Entertainment previously released Sweet Blue Flowers on DVD in 2013, and released it on Blu-ray in July of 2018. So it sounds like they probably are going to have a good thing going here because, uh, you know, they're putting stuff out effectively and efficiently. So, yeah, hopefully this actually goes somewhere and they don't fall out like they did with Crunchyroll. And it's funny because I keep talking about this, although I don't remember exactly why they fell out with Crunchyroll. All I know is that it just didn't work out. But, uh, yeah, hopefully this goes pretty good because it sounds like, you know, with the two of them working together, you know, the more the better, basically. But, um... 
anyway, if you want to talk about it further, you have something to say, just, you know, talk about it in the comments below. Do you think they're going to work out? What do you think about it? Is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? Are they going to end up like Funimation and Crunchyroll falling out and stuff like that? Talk about it in the comments below. But anyway, that is all from me. Until next time, folks. Okay? Later.